Time now for the morning rush. This morning, fire crews are battling yet another Bosque fire. Yesterday, the Simona fire started burning south of Belen and Jarales. At last check, it's 0% contained. Officials say the fire is not threatening any structures, but it's threatening a large natural gas pipeline and a line for cell phone and internet service. Well, there's still 0% containment for a fire burning in Mora County that has now burned 20,000 acres. The Cooks Peak fire near Ocate has already forced evacuations with an air quality alert in effect until noon today. Highways in the area are also closed until further notice. Colorado also seeing its share of fires. Another one cropped up yesterday afternoon in Monte Vista. That's just to the northwest of Alamosa. The fire burned 15 homes and prompted evacuations of dozens more. This was before firefighters got it under control. As of this morning, it's still not fully contained. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are a little cool this morning. You may need some light layers, but by the afternoon will be warm and winds will be less gusty than yesterday. A New Mexico teacher is in jail this morning after multiple students came forward about alleged inappropriate touching. Yesterday, Daniel Decker was arrested and charged with inappropriately touching a teen multiple times. The Hobbs School District says at least four other students have come forward with similar claims. He resigned earlier last month after the first allegation. The trial for a teen charged with murder continues today. The trial for the teen, the trial for Noah. Uh, Mirabal Duran, rather, is one of two people accused of killing Elijah Mirabal at North Domingo Baca Park in 2020. Witnesses told investigators the victim went to the park thinking he was selling drugs to a girl. Duran's attorney claims self-defense. The FBI is looking for a bank robber dubbed the Bandaged Bandit. That's after he struck again. Investigators say that this man robbed at least four local banks in the last two months. Uh, one, he was wearing a splint on his finger. At another, he had a Band-Aid on his face. They are offering a $2,000 reward for information. Erica. And here's a look at the threat index. It's um, moderate to high today in eastern New Mexico, where we'll be seeing gusty winds at 35 to 40 and high fire danger. The Justice Department is now seeking to overturn a federal judge's order that voided the nation's mask mandate on planes, trains, and travel hubs. The CDC, which requested the appeal, said in a statement that masking on indoor transportation, quote, remains necessary for the public health. Happening today, President Biden is expected to announce another round of military funding for the Ukrainians as they try to fight off the Russian invasion. The U.S. has already given more than two and a half billion dollars in military assistance. A popular app is now helping people better understand our environment. Right now, the City Nature Challenge is happening and cities compete to observe and identify wild plants and animals in urban areas. UNM's geography and biology departments are competing to gather as much research data as they can. Erica. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a check on the maps. No accidents or slowdowns as of now. Looking clear on the roads and here's a check on tracker. Starting to see uh, more cars out now. We'll be seeing slowdowns pretty soon. A California state prison is now the home to the nation's first ever community college campus. For the first time, prisoners inside the San Quentin, California state prison will be able to receive accreditation by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Students have to at least uh, have at least 60 liberal arts courses to choose from as they work towards their associate's degree. Pretty cool opportunity there. Mm -hmm. Time now for the five facts. At number five, a popular app is now helping people better understand our environment. Right now, the City Nature Challenge is happening, and that's where cities compete to observe and identify wild plants and animals in urban areas. They say that's pretty simple. You just take a photo and then upload it to an app that will automatically identify the plant or animal. UNM's geography and biology departments are competing for that data. We're going to have a link to download the app at alwaysonkrqe.com. Number four, Albuquerque residents could soon be seeing high water and sewer bills. During last night's board meeting, water officials proposed increasing water and sewer rates by 5%. The hike, which would go into effect in August, is estimated to raise the typical residential bill by about $2.50 a month. The Water Authority says even with the hike, Albuquerque customers would still be paying some of the lowest water rates in the southwest. And at number three, we are going to see quieter weather today. Those winds are only going to be gusting up to around 25 miles per hour in the metro. On top of that, plenty of sunshine and highs in the 80s, making this our best day to get outside before messy weather arrives tomorrow. Moving on to number two now, New Mexico teachers in jail this morning after multiple students have come forward about alleged inappropriate touching. Yesterday, Daniel Decker, who was a teacher at, and coach at Highland Middle School in Hobbs, was arrested and charged with inappropriately touching a teen multiple times between September and March. In a release sent out by the school district yesterday, and they say at least four other students have come forward with similar uh, claims. 
Hobbs Municipal Schools say that Decker was placed on administrative leave on March 11th. That was after the first allegation. They also say he resigned a short time after that. And at number one, firefighters are battling another blaze in the Bosque. The Simona fire started burning yesterday south of Berlin in Jaralis. At last check, it's 0% contained. Now, the fire is the second major fire in that area in recent days. While structures are no longer threatened, off officials say that the fire is threatening a large natural gas pipeline, cell phone, and internet line as well. While they're working hard to protect both, some people living in the area say that they are getting ready to leave in case anything changes. Now, officials are asking people to stay away from that area. Meanwhile, the Belen Rec Center is open for people who voluntarily, voluntarily rather, evacuate their homes.